men get medals mm. and that mm. women get mileage, Ooh. right? Good morning, brave hearts. I'm off to brave another thing. One of the, hey, and I'm finally rocking the scarf that my babe got me, so she'll be happy about that. I believe this was a birthday gift. Maybe this was Christmas, I don't know. I'm one of the mountains of influence or spheres of influence or mediums that I know that the Lord has called my family to was that of the media. And I bless the Lord for an opportunity that has presented itself through my brother in the faith, uh, Rudolph Valentino, he has a show Monday through Friday, I believe, uh, the inspirational experience and a uh, spot has opened up for me to co-host with him uh, throughout the week. So this is my first time going today just to get a feel, see how things go. But um, I'm excited, man. So wish me bravery. All right. Here we are at RCTV with the brethren, What's Rudolph up? Valentino. Yeah, man, we in here. You know, the place where the miracles happen. <laughs> so we about to get it cracking, man. I'm telling you, we braving it. This is where we gonna be for the day. This is the workshop for the hour. All right, stay with us. Follow up after we run through this. I'm excited, man. Geek. Day one of my first day as a as an intern. <laughs> That's a wrap. We got some people in the building, man. MC Ron G, one of the yeah. hardest working uh, gospel MCs and Trying, men man. of God and pastors this side of heaven in the Amen. Holy Rock. Hallelujah. Got my man Josh in the building. He came Josh, to support Josh, and show some love. Do. Yo, this is for our um, our vlog, Braving It with the Butlers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got y'all permission for y'all to be on there? Man, listen, put me on there. <laughs> all right, all right. And then my brother, absolutely my brother right here, Valentino. What up, Valentino. Man? How y'all feeling? Inspirational Dude. experience. <laughs> Tell me how y'all think I did and how we did. All right, mahalo, peace. So how do you think you did? Um, are we talking a grade or are we talking like a scale of one to a hundred? Um, a scale one to a hundred? What about one to ten? Okay, one to ten. I think I'm gonna bring these chairs With together. Easy part. I would give myself an eight. Okay. A solid eight. Why? But I guess I'm looking at it holistically. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just I'm looking at it from the perspective of learning how to work the boards, mm -hmm. learning how to, you know, seat people and arrange people so that the energy in the room is right. And, and you know, I always feel like there's a higher gear. Mm -hmm. You know, there's more to learn. I'm a, I'm a delivered perfectionist. He's not doing it. I am. I rebuke you. You need to go under one more time. Nope. I pursue excellence. And so, an eight is solid. That's a I B. I guess for your first day, That's yeah. a B. I yeah. guess, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely something that I see myself doing. Yeah. Um, glad I braved it. That's dope. Certainly. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I am Mr. Bring the Funny himself, man. Rudolph Valentino. We got my co-host in the building. Mr. Toby, what's up, bro? What up with yeah, you? Man, hey, man, living the dream, man. All right. Living the dream. And of course, our special guest is in the building, man, Mr. Ron G. Yeah, 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 One of yeah. the hardest working gospel MCs I know. Come yes, on, sir. man. Come on, man. Yes, sir. So let me ask y'all this question. This is what I've been wondering, I've been wondering, I've been asking a lot of fellas this question. Mm. What does love look like from a male's point of view? Mm. I'ma say I think love looks like death and sacrifice. Wow, mm. come on. Daily death and daily sacrifice. Mm. Right. That's how that relationship is gonna work, man. Right. You know, and so um as you as you alluded to earlier, you know, from from a again from a social standpoint, especially when you're talking about outside of the confines of Christ, right. we're told that men get medals mm. and that mm. women get mileage, Ooh. right? So they tell us we get medals, we get right. medals, and how do we get those medals? By conquest, by how many women we can get, how right. many we can lock down, and so on and so forth. But as you come into a greater understanding, 
of, of God's design of it, he was the perfect representation of what love oh, looks like, right? Death and sacrifice. Right, right. But, but it was because of that death and that sacrifice that we're able to live. So, when you look at love in the context of a relationship, if we're willing to lay our lives down for our ladies and they see us sacrificing on a daily basis, I believe that breathes life into the relationship. Come on, man. Come on. Ooh, that's that's where I'm at with it. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Bad the collection. No man. coins, baby. I want that stuff that side of the I want that stuff that fold though. <laughs> <laughs> and I got cash out. <laughs> awesome announcement you just made, the wedding coming up. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. and your wife doing a premarital counseling? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting started actually with my pastor and I'm, 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 I'm I feel like you was about to offer something. You, you, you know, I mean, you know my, what I'm my wife and I, we licensed in a couple things, so you know, we can see what we talk <laughs> hey, hey, about. Man, yeah, listen, listen, listen. People think once I've done the premarital counseling that we don't need any more counseling, yeah, that's true, right? Too. And it was this show many years ago. I think it was the uh, Real Preachers of L.A. or something like yeah, that, right? People right. can feel however they want to feel <laughs> yeah, about the show. That. But there was this one bishop on that show, man, and he was solid. Right. But one of the things that stood out to me was he was married the longest on the show. His ministry was solid, and he said he and his wife still go to counseling. Wow. He's like, why would we stop? He was like, we don't go to counseling because something is wrong. Right. We go to counseling to prevent Thank something you. from being wrong, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, that's so that's, that's something that, you know, my wife and I, what up, babe, uh, Chris? <laughs> The lovely Chris Butler, that's something that we take to heart. Even the counselors need counseling. Mm. Period. You know, so you can't ever get to the point where you feel like you've arrived because the reality is that she's not the same woman that I married 14 almost 14 years ago. Right. I'm not the same man. We're ever developing and ever growing. It's important to stay connected and to understand that counseling. It's not a curse word, church folk. <laughs> it's a great thing. That's right, this bro. God morning, each and every one of y'all, man, that's rocking out, man. We getting ready to have some fun with this one, man. So um, I'm going to start the beat, and y'all you know I mean, I got Rod G in here. I got Toby in uh, here, man. I don't know what's going to happen, man. Uh, I might even spit something. Okay. Oh, you know what? Listen, I, I, I was know. ready until I seen Toby. Like. <laughs> Let me take a second or a minute or a little bit of time to remind you. Uh. There's nowhere to go where my God will not find you. You think you leading the way, look up, he's right behind you. You you think you fell behind, look up, he's there to guide you. The blood, yup, but I ain't talking pyro. They thought they crippled his plot, beating him black and blue. But that was part of the plan for God to redeem the heart of a man. He put on a suit of a human, assuming the part of a man. Mm. Fully, fully man at the same time. He was God and a man at the same time. It's not fiction or a contradiction. Emmanuel and the Father had the same mind. Siamese twin in to stop me from Sinning. When I think about the Trinity, nothing in this world can stop me from sinning or stop me from grinning. We got keys no written, we own and it's own and we children of the morning. Yeah, no. Church right uh, there, man. It's crazy. I wrote all Toby Barr. <laughs> he getting all my publishing. He pulling the ditty on me. <laughs> but I'm going to be the lock. I'm going to shoot a refrigerator at him. <laughs> to my baby girl's Black History Recital. She's been putting that work in, practicing. She's gonna be portraying Oprah Winfrey, introducing, I believe the uh, individual she's gonna be introducing is portraying Barack Obama. So uh, she's been getting her practicing, projecting, uh, hand gestures right. Man, I'm so grateful to be able to support my little one for her to see her father in the audience. I know it's gonna mean a lot to her. And then there was Kaylana's recital. Assembly. assembly. It's an assembly. Do you guys remember, remember assemblies? Remember. It wasn't an assembly, baby. It was a black history program. Kaylana had her black history I need history proof assembly. and receipts and records. Comment down below if you guys remember assemblies when we were younger. Shout out to the third grade teacher. Hmm. What's her name? Miss Ducko. Miss Ducko. Miss Ducko. Yo, she got busy. Yeah, I heard it was dope. Where were you? Oh, uh, where was I? Where was she people? Um, at work. How about that? Work. I was working. Who does that? I was not at the assembly. I couldn't get off work, but I sent instruction. I said, make she sure did. you zoom in with the camera, get some good footage of my baby. <laughs> How was my footage? Portraying Oprah. 
Her dress was very Oprah-ish, okay? It was dope. She had the little pink sequin. Oprah would have worn that dress. You Oprah, so? call me, girl. <laughs> I'll send you that dress. <laughs> I would love to see Oprah in that dress. <laughs> Oprah. You did good. Let me get. I'm so proud of you. I am too. They did a magnificent job. Great job. I am. Excellent. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Just wrapped up the recital. Kay got busy, did her thing. Now I'm en route to a meeting regarding a, a little podcast idea that I got in mind. And, um,. Holy Spirit is giving me some ideas, man, and I'm gonna see what we can um see what we can create and come up with. You know, we braving it, man. We attacking any and all areas that we can that we've been uh, gifted to do. So I give uh, Kaylana's presentation of Oprah an A plus. Definitely an A. She missed some of the hand movements, um, but she uh. Very poised, very clear, projected. It's in the books now. Peace. That is so dope. You got you co hosting radio shows, yeah. Kaylana portraying Oprah, me directing. I'm used yeah. to being behind the camera still, but kind of giving instructions and directions and being part You're brave in it. With people. Okay. That's what I'm used to partnering with people. This is all about. That's true. You're brave in it. You got to wear another hat. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of another hat, why don't you get, give, me, give me another hat oh like Lord. this? Oh, Lord. Thank you guys so much for watching our channel. Yes. Comment. Yes. Share. Like. Subscribe. Yes. And be brave. Yeah. If it's something that you know you've been putting off, that you should be doing, whatever that something is, whether you're talking about starting a new company, mm -hmm. maybe buying a home, as long as you can afford it, don't yeah. go into debt behind it, um, a relationship, that degree, entrepreneurial endeavors, brave it, man. Brave it. Don't you can, it off. You will not find out the strength that you have until you get on the other side. Brave it. You know, our prayer and our hope is that that's what this channel does for you. That it pushes you, that it stretches you, that it encourages you, that it empowers you to be brave and yeah. to conquer those things. We're doing it with you. Absolutely. Braving it with the butler. Mm -hmm. Peace. Always feel brand new. Loving you is the easy part. So, guys, I play Oprah. Oprah. Oprah in the Black History. I was nervous. I was scared. I was literally shaking when I got to the mic. But you know, I was confident. I spoke a little bit fast, but I just tried to calm myself down. How do you feel when they told you you were playing Oprah? <laughs> I felt excited. I mean, kind of scared, and but it it was good. It was good. Would you like to meet Oprah one day? Yes. Would you want to do it again? Mm. No? <laughs> no.